For a country that prides itself on being the new tech center of Africa, and maybe even someday the world, internet in Nigeria is ridiculously bad. Ask anyone who uses the internet consistently in the country, and the complaints are similar. People spend more money on data subscription than they do on food, clothing, electricity, and so on. Yet, the data barely lasts and the connection is absolutely terrible. A speed test analysis in 221 countries showed Liechtenstein to be number one in the world, with an average download speed of 229.98 megabytes per second. Madagascar was number one in Africa at 18 megabytes per second. Nigeria was a shocking 183rd globally with an anemic download speed of just a little over 3 megabytes per second. A 5 gig movie took 2 minutes to download in Liechtenstein, 37 minutes in Madagascar, 48 minutes in South Africa, and more than 3 hours in Nigeria. Now, there are a lot of primary ways for countries to connect to the internet. We have fiber optic cable running through the oceans, traditional copper telephone wires, or true wireless cell towers and telecom masts. Fixed fiber optics broadband offer more speed and stability, but mobile wireless connections is without a doubt the most common in Nigeria. A little over 70,000 Nigerians use wired broadband as of 2017, whereas there were more than 144 million subscribers on wireless. Now, you'd be surprised to know that Nigerians' anemic fiber broadband is not even as a result of lack of quality cables on shore. In fact, Nigeria has more than enough broadband capacity coming from several submarine cables. Sadly, and perhaps not surprisingly, Basically, all of this power is just wasting away there at shore without ever making it to actual people on land. The state of fixed broadband transmission in Nigeria is so terrible that of all the broadband power we have at the shore, less than 10% make it to land. Why is this so though, we ask? Well, it is so because to actually connect the cables to land and facilitate last mile connectivity, you need a host of existing last mile infrastructures. And sadly, Nigeria just don't have this. Even some of the existing infrastructures have been shared and are prone to vandalism every now and then. The state of broadband in Nigeria is a perfect demonstration of the entire country's reality since independence. A reality of wasted potential. Research shows a strong correlation between broadband penetration and economic growth. But will Nigeria ever get it right? And how? We'll be answering this question and more in our next video of the series. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And check out our 10 minute video on the topic for a fuller understanding of how internet connectivity works in Nigeria.